Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to another episode of our Frostpunk Let's Play in the Last Autumn DLC. I'm glad to see that many of you are interested in seeing some Frostpunk action on the channel. So we're going to get this playthrough going through daily right up until release, which should be, I think, tomorrow, based on when this episode releases. And uh, then afterwards, we're going to find a nice comfy spot in our schedule. As always, folks, if you'd like to see more Frostpunk, please keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. Not only do I look at the likes and comments numbers to get a quick understanding of what people are interested in watching, but I also read through all the comments always uh, because A, I find it fun to read through comments and I try to respond whenever possible, however possible, and B, I actually look at all the feedback and suggestions and things that you guys notice that I might have missed. For example, uh, some of y'all pointed out that this is the cocaine pills button, or uh, uh, some of you pointed out that, uh, oh, there were some more things. Oh, that, for example, I can get a second workshop going and actually speed up the research rate uh, when we start researching. So keep those comments coming. Uh, I appreciate it greatly, and hopefully y'all keep enjoying and if you do like I said just keep letting me know uh, so we're gonna pick things up obviously right where we left off people don't have any food so hopefully we're gonna solve that problem pretty quickly uh, wood is being accumulated through the sawmill over here we still have about 370 uh, wood left so that's about five days worth of wood collecting left to do but we need 50 wood before we can upgrade our resources to the drawing boards to get the, um, sorry, in the food and health section to get the fishing harbor. Because I feel like it might be a good idea to get food a bit more easily that way, or at least I think that's the benefit here. But it was suggested that maybe I consider getting faster gathering first. It only takes seven hours to do, whereas this will take eight hours plus another, I don't know how long, probably eight hours as well. So let's, uh, let, let, let's, sure, focus on faster gathering first, and we can get that started right away in the morning. Uh, it's only midnight, so a couple hours, handful of hours before that time comes. And I might actually consider building, if I can, another workshop. Not adjacent to street, but it's not going to destroy any, manu uh, like any, any resources or anything. So we'll go ahead and we'll put down, hmm, yeah, well, can I actually put you, no. So we'll put this down over here. Keep it in the same uh, direction, and we have enough wood to actually get our street extended this way as well. So we can just go ahead and do that. It just cost us two wood, and construction work happens during free time, so I don't have to worry about uh, you know wasting any time. And if we can get this built before the morning comes, and we actually double our research rate, then that's going to be huge. Uh, something I need to do is uh, so it was suggested that I swap back to wood on the on the docks over here it's funny actually i got uh, opposing suggestions in the comments one suggestion was to go with uh wood on the docks as well as with the sawmill and another suggestion was the exact opposite which was sawmill is getting us enough wood so we should just go with steel over here and then there was yet another suggestion which is i think the one i'm going to go with which is i should try and get another set of docks done asap and we can have one set of docks bringing us wood another set bringing us uh steel and then we've got our sawmill up over here as well. And I might actually want to get another sawmill going as well. Um, because, because we can, A. And B, uh, there's a lot of resources that need uh, taking, you know. And what I could do is I could put it down, say, like over here for now. I don't want to destroy anything. Uh, I will destroy. I don't want to destroy anything if I don't have to. So let's go ahead and put it down over here. And that way we can use it in the morning. And again, we can dismantle it when the time comes. Uh, I want to get this down so that we can get people. We've got idle people. There's no reason to have idle people. Let's use the wood. Build the sawmill overnight. Next day morning, we'll get everybody chopping down wood. Uh, make the clearings so we're not, again, demolit or like, you know, cutting down trees without actually using them, so to speak. Uh, trying to get a bit more efficient as we go along. Uh, as I get a hang of the systems and the mechanics in this game, hopefully things become a bit smoother. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. We've got 10 people working down there. I'm sure people are coming up over here to build as well. No workers. Why no? Oh, do we not have a street connection? Did I miss that? Oh, we've got a street connection. We could extend this just a little bit. Sure. Do that, and let's go ahead and speed, uh, speed the day up. Speed time up, rather. And hopefully, everything will be done come morning. Oh, or I guess this isn't uh, construction time. It's not construct a clock. Now we're building stuff down over here. Yeah, if we can double our research time. I didn't even know that was a thing. So again, 
If you're more experienced with Frostpunk, you let me know your hot tips down below. I, I, I do not take issue with that kind of stuff. I know a lot of, a lot of people do, but I like the input. I think uh, it, makes, uh, it makes for a more fun experience personally. So uh, yeah, keep, keep letting me know if you have any thoughts or suggestions. But max this up. Motivation is up thanks to the House of Pleasure, I guess. The daily loss wasn't noticeable, actually. Motivation went up rather than down, so that's great. 6 a.m. people wake up. Now's the free time. 6 to 8 is free time. And then 8 o'clock we start working. Now, I could put cocaine pills in with breakfast, but people aren't actually eating. I wonder if I turn this on, if it will still give... No, it won't. It won't give the extra motivation bonus. I'd like to get us up to that 75% mark, because then we get the bonus to uh, efficiency. However, to do that, we do need some food, and hopefully... Our foragers will get some soon. We've got a new law available. Another suggestion was that I should just enact laws whenever possible. And if I don't know which choice I'll eventually want to make, I should just go ahead and make the uh, single choice uh, decisions. Which, not a bad call. Not a bad call. I don't think I want bare knuckle bouts though. I don't like the idea of people getting hurt. Bathhouses are probably not a bad idea. People will be cleaner. We have to build a bathhouse, but we can do that whenever we want to. So might as well get this signed right now. Go ahead and sign this bathhouse option there. 17 hours. Splendid idea. This will certainly improve the public health. A bathhouse. Just what we need after a day of hard work. Absolutely. It'll be covered in soot and stuff. It'll be great. It'll be great. Let's go ahead and max this out. Good stuff. So we should be getting a decent bit of wood up over here now. Hopefully that'll work in our favor. We've got people coming down over here. Yes, we've got people researching here and over here. Re yeah, research rate is 130%. Okay, so it doesn't double our research rate. But it does add a significant enough amount. Because now... is At 100%, it would take 7 hours. So at 130%, that's another third cut out. Will that be 5 hours? I don't know. I'm... My... <laughs> The limits of my mental math while I'm also recording and thinking about the pressure of not having any food. Hopefully in an hour and a half's time these foragers will find something because people are starting to get hungry. That's not good. And that is not good. And yes, so cocaine pills, obviously when we're not uh, actually able to serve anybody, the cocaine pills do nothing because they're not having breakfast. What a horrifying situation to be in. Motivation is pretty hot though. I mean, this is, this is solid. The motivation is solid. Uh, do I get some more docks down? No. Shouldn't waste that money right now. We've got a fair bit of wood. Wanna, we want to make sure we have 50 when our current research completes, which is soon. Mm. Forges have reached the hunting grounds. Alright, let's go ahead and pause for a second here. Because there's a couple things I want to do. I need to get more people. So let's go ahead and requisition some people because we are capped out right now. Uh, and it's going to take some time for people to arrive. So let's go ahead and add, let's say... Oh, strange, okay. Oh, I see, it's cost 2 per, so 20 times 2, obviously it's 56. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get 18 workers, and... Actually, let's go with... 10 workers, and... 5 engineers, sure. Now let's go ahead with... 15 workers, and let's say... I feel like this is the better call. 18 workers, 5 engineers... And of course, we'll need housing for them when they arrive, which is, you know, it'll take uh, a day. We'll need housing for them, and we'll need food for them as well. The reason why I want to get these guys is because that's another 20, what, 3 workers that we'll make available for ourselves for, you know, whatever it might be. So let's go ahead and order the shipment. Take a day. And these guys are waiting, so let's see what they're waiting on. Uh, hunting grounds. Numerous animal tracks cover the gentle banks of the stream. We'll go ahead and explore the area. Hope for the best here, folks. A uh, watering place. The gentle banks of the swiftly flowing stream form a convenient watering place. We could set up camp here for some time to hunt animals come for wa coming for water. Okay, I see. We can set up camp here to supply raw food to the construction site. Yes, please. Um, the camp will deliver 80 raw food every day. In total, 400 raw food over the next five days. So they stay in one spot for five days. We get 80 food every day, leading to 500 food. Which, with a 1 to 1 ratio is... Sorry, 400 food. Which, with a 1 to 1 ratio, is 400 cooked meals. So yeah. Go ahead and set up camp. 
We've completed our basic facilities. Beautiful. Back to the construction site. Uh, where can we get... Sorry, not you, but you. Um, I guess I need to unlock... I need to research more foragers if I want to get uh, more foragers. Generator shaft structure. Now that you have the basic infrastructure, it's time to start with the construction of the generator. Build a profiles manufacturer, then produce eight structural profiles. That will allow you to set up the shaft structure. Okay, so build a profiles manufacturer, and then have them produce eight structural profiles. All right. Okay. So we want to go ahead and build... Uh, it's the bathhouse, the shaft structure. But no, we need to build... Profiles manufacturer. Is that tech... The structure will support the massive bulk of the generator and transfer the tremendous force. No, 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 that's not profile manufacturer. Let's go ahead and take a look at our tech here. Uh, generator construction. Ah, there we go. So I gotta, I gotta research this soon. Well, that can wait, I think. We're not on... Oh, excuse me? Oh, excuse me? We've got deadlines to meet? Okay. I was warned that there were deadlines. I did not realize they start at this point. Okay, so we're about two days ahead of schedule. Day 16, we need those structural profiles done and the shaft structure needs to be done. We're at day seven. We're a little bit through day seven. Oh man, the pressure is on. All right, research done. Faster uh, gathering has been completed. So we're gonna get a fair bit of food coming up over the next little while. How, okay. It just tells you the rate at 100%, eh? That's unfortunate. Fine, let's go ahead and get the profiles manufacturer. That's seven hours, give or take. And then we have to do the drawing boards, I imagine. I wish I could see what these things gave us. No, so it's just the profiles manufacturer. So let's go ahead and start that. And hopefully get that done by end of day. It'll take... Sorry, let's check here. It'll take about five hours, so... We won't be finishing it today, unfortunately. That's really quite unfortunate. Should have started researching sooner. And I might want to build another dock because these things will need steel and wood. Now again, we've got about five days worth of wood in each of these and five days worth of food coming through as well. But that's again at the end of the day, every day. We'll be fine. Food will start coming in tomorrow. We'll start up, like we'll start building standard meals. I think is good enough because motivation is fine. Discontent is low. So I think that's fine. But I do need to prepare some housing. We'll do that at night. I mean, I can set up the, the orders right now, so I have a better idea of what's going on. Uh, I guess I'll put them down over here, because we have the medical over here, and we have the public house over here as well. The pub, as it were. Go ahead and build this street. Stand it out this way. And let's build... Let's see, how many people are we bringing in? 20? Um... I wish you would tell me what I'm getting. There we go. 18 plus 5 is 23. Right? Yes. So that means we need... Uh... 1... 2... 3. Cool. That should do the trick. And again, they'll build it in their free time. So when these people arrive... Uh... Tomorrow... You know, whenever... They, they'll have a home to stay at. We don't have to worry about that. Generator construction overview. So we're about two days ahead of schedule. We need eight structural profiles. Then we need 10 structural profiles and 10 steam exchangers. Steel composite structural, oh man. Optional upgrades. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried. <laughs> Just seeing the deadlines pop up, I'm a little worried. Day 16, we should be fine, right? We're ahead of schedule. We're ahead of schedule. We're, again, just short of being able to complete this. With 110 wood. Enough work for today, work for today he says. I wonder if I will destroy some resources. What it'll be like? A couple of trees? A couple of trees is not the end of the world. Let's speed up our research a bit more. Now, the, the, the recommendation was that I should just do two, but I'm now taking that and going over the top. Food problem. 
People are hungry. Sir, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They've been hungry for days now, and they fear that soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. I'll have three days to feed everyone and stockpile 37 food rations, or I'll have three days to feed everyone. Uh, I don't think we have to overdo it. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to stockpile 37 rations, especially with more people coming through. So let's just promise to feed them. Right, let's feed them. I have three days to feed them all, and that's, I think, more than enough time. Uh, more than enough time. I should also build a bathhouse. A bathhouse, where are we? That's health-related. 40 wood, 20 steel. People living within the range are less likely to get sick. Don't know if there's a rush on that. Mm, wow, it's a pretty short range. There is no rush on that. I think I first want to try and cut some of these trees down, right? Sawmills still have a fair bit of life or juice left in them, so to speak. Got more steel coming through as well. All right, you know, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So if I... Let's see. Research stopped right now. This thing's getting built. Yeah, it'll be done before, before it's too late into the night. So this will be done first thing in the morning, right? Now I imagine we should probably get the drawing boards done sooner rather than later. We'll see... We have, I would say, maybe three days before we have to start researching the fishing harbor and stuff. What I might want to try and do... What I might want to try and do is... Uh, put another dock down. I believe there's another spot for a dock over here. And put a uh, fishing port down somewhere over here. How do I send people? Can't be reached at the moment. I imagine we can research something that'll allow us to get this hundred steel. But yeah, stockpile. It's all about stockpile right now. Let's go ahead and speed time up. There's not much for us to do right now. But the construction's complete. The long shadows of the trees cover our, you know, humble homes, as it were, and let night fall. I love seeing this map. It is quite gorgeous. There's our transport. There's our hunting grounds. Yes, I, I think we need more foragers if we want to send them out elsewhere, right? Yeah. It is a literal option. And over here, we do have folks arriving in about 12 hours' time, so... Okay, so 10 in the morning. We'll be a little late to supplying the uh, workforce to the workshop over here, but... But we do have five engineers coming through, so we have the exact number we need. That's worked out perfectly. Perfectly calculated. 100% intentional. The generator is erected step by step. In each of these steps, you will build its section or sections selected from the generator tab. To build sections of the generator, you will need special materials, structural profiles, steam exchangers, and steel composites. They're manufactured in plants built in the construction site. Okay. That's what we're working towards, right? Again, so we're still going to be a day ahead of schedule when tomorrow morning comes through. And then it's just a matter of, yeah, working away. Discontent is up because people are hungry, but that will be solved tomorrow morning. No one's going to have to resort to eating raw food. And we do have a law available as well. So here... Mm, drop... Oh, you know what? This is something I'll leave for later. I feel like we're going to need crowded quarters. Because I've been... I was mentioning since the previous session that I feel like it's pretty tight in terms of... Uh, uh, in terms of how much space we have, so I feel like we're gonna need crowded quarters, but we'll do that eventually, obviously, no rush on that. The chapel might be a good idea, I can see the next unlock is evening service, so I imagine that'll help with motivation and stuff overall. So let's go with the chapel here, Here we'll have to build one, but do that eventually, right? Might as well sign it. Rules and regulations have changed. I love that there's that voice. It's a right decision. Nobody should be denied access to a place of worship. Good. I miss praying together. Yeah, that's right. We'll build a sense of community, right? Gotta build a sense of community. We got our chapel available, which also is within a certain range. Ooh, good, good, good. It can fit nicely over here. Make good use of that space for us, right? Doesn't cover all the houses, but it does cover quite a few of them. How much do you cost? 30 wood, 10 steel. That's not that bad. High motivation, efficiency rises by 30%. That's excellent. Um, I say we go ahead and put this chapel down. Actually, you know what? We'll do it. We'll do it overnight. 
I guess I could get an hour and a bit of construction done in the morning. Sorry, I'm just like second guessing. Every every decision I make will be second guessed. This is like the only thing that can fit over here, I imagine. So let's, uh, sure, let's go ahead with it. Okay, let's go ahead with it. And what's the deal over here? High motivation. Okay, it's not a problem. I thought it was a problem. Sir, people are so highly motivated that many of them perform their jobs with enthusiasm. The efficiency in all workplaces rises as a result. Well done. Damn right. Well done. All right, good stuff. So plenty of food has arrived, about six hours worth of food has arrived, but now we're going to, well, in a couple hours, we're going to process that. No need for cocaine pills because people are already motivated, so why uh, why mess with that? We're going to stay with the standard meal again. People are motivated. Discontent is going to drop as soon as hunger is taken care of, so why uh, why overdo things when we don't have to, right? All about balance. Three hours ish for our workers or our engineers to arrive, which is fair enough. And once the chapel is done, which will be soon, not before the workday begins, I think. Not before the oh, that's a that's very dangerous, man. Nice, wow, we got it done before the workday starts. The chapel has been erected, giving people a place to pray together and find comfort in faith. Motivation rises. Excellent. Just in time for work. So religion plays important plays an important role in lives of most citizens of the British Empire. It strengthens the community bonds and protects against despair and reminds people of their higher purpose, which is of particular value in times of strife such as these. Less than half of our people have access to a chapel. People living near the chapel will often take part in service, which reminds them of their higher purpose. Okay. Profiles manufacture researched. Uh, so let's go ahead and build. And that can be built in here. Well, the question becomes, where should I place it? And is there a benefit to placing it in one spot or another? I'm glad I only have two roads leading out from the middle over here, eh? Uh, sure, let's go ahead and drop you down right against the, the street over here. And here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Reduce the number of workers at the pub. And I'm going to reduce... Uh... The number of workers at the medical post. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I would like them to go ahead and build this so we can work on things a little bit today. No, re no need to wait, right? Why waste any time? Uh, so with that done, we might want to go back to food and health and do the drawing boards now. And now we can work towards the uh, fishing harbor and perhaps the more foragers. And then we'll want to go towards these drawing boards as well, right? Actually, you know what? Let's do these drawing boards first. Not enough wood. Sorry, how much I need? 50. 50 for all of these, right? Okay. There, done. <laughs> One tick is all we needed. Um, let's start with this. Let's start with this. Alright. So hopefully 10 people will come over here to, to build this up. Food, hopefully we're taken care of. Yep. Oh yeah, there's the food coming through. Excellent. All right, feeling feeling a lot more comfortable right now. Feeling a lot more comfortable. So come on, 10, 10 idle folk here. Come on now. Come on now. More of you, more of you can work. Only speed it up a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Just a little bit of time before they get reassigned. And hopefully we'll be able to add our uh, scientists as soon as the shipment arrives. And whoop. Transport has arrived. Excellent. Slow it down. Go ahead and get this maxed out. It's about three hours left. Hmm. Doesn't change all that much, but it's okay. About three hours left. Our foragers will deliver food in about eight hours time. That's fine. Food rations are looking good. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I wonder, actually. Um, oh, okay, it becomes a transport, I see. I was wondering if I could move them elsewhere. Uh, if I feel comfortable with how much food I have. Because to be honest, I feel kind of comfy. Alright, let's see. Let's go ahead and max this out. And we'll start producing... 25 wood makes 1. We need 8. Hey, we can only do 3 right now. Nonetheless, let's get to work. Okay, we're fine here, we're fine here. I might want to overnight build another sawmill. 
don't want to overcommit. I mean, we can always reduce, right? Yeah, we can reduce and we get refunded full full amount. So that's that's good. Oh, what's the problem over here? Oh, we're empty. So what I can do here is I can make this into none and then max you out. Well, for when it's time. Wow, things are moving real fast now. Okay, um, so let's actually... No one's sick, so we don't need anybody here. No one's actually working here, so we don't need anybody here. I have nowhere else to assign them. Maybe I should get a dock so I can keep uh, reassigning people. Like, let's go ahead and build... Uh, what am I looking for here? Basic dock costs 25 wood. Okay, we'll get another dock built because then I can at least assign the people in the medical post and the pub um, for when they're not needed, especially in the pub during the workday. They can be picking up resources, and then when the workday is done, they can work at the pub, working double shifts. I wonder if the game will have any negative effects to that. Uh, letters from home. Ooh, boudoir photography. Interesting. Sir, supply ships bring post for the crew from time to time. For security reasons, all letters are opened and read, but we may sometimes ask you for instructions. In this case, one of our people received a passionate letter from a lady friend, together with a highly suggestive photograph. Are we to allow this shameless debauchery? I'm sorry, did you miss the memo where we have literal prostitutes? I mean, come on, leave the picture, let, let, let it be. People are working so hard for, you know, for queen and country, let them, let them enjoy their queens and countries back home, right? Leave the picture, let it be, come on. Okay, I thought discontent went up, it went down. Come on, guys, come on. Oh, forgot to assign you research. That would have been bad. Protective structures. Installing lightweight protective structures across the workplace will temporarily reduce the number of injuries caused by falls and blunt trauma. Each use will improve workplace safety by one level for 24 hours at the cost of six structural profiles. Wow, that's expensive. A machine shop. Uh, steam exchangers can be produced at the machine shop, and the ventilation plant provides fresh air, improving safety, but uses 25 coal per hour. All right. We can't research any of this. Uh, oh, okay, good. I wasn't sure if the drawing boards was across the board, pun intended, or if it was per category. Thank God it's across the board. So let's go ahead and get that fishing harbor then. They set out from here to catch fish in the cold, cold sea. Hmm. I think we'll get, uh, as soon as we can afford it, 20 wood, we'll get, uh, we'll get the fishing harbor going. And there it is. Got the fishing harbor started. Progress is being made over here. Again, we're ahead of schedule, right? We're three days ahead of schedule. Great. Fantastic. Still a, a big chunk of the workday left to go. Ten an hour. We've got about three hours left. Uh, so 20 an hour, three hours. That's 60 wood is coming through. 60 wood is enough to build another... Uh, Dock, I believe. Yep, we need 25, which is almost time for. There's our 25, so let's go ahead and place you over here. And the fishing we'll do down over here. Or... All a matter of the distance they have to cover, right? Because they have to get up to there with their, uh... The wood they pick up. So let's, let's put it down over here. Yeah. There's also the option down over here, but that's way too far away. Go ahead and put this dock down over here. And we've got idle bodies. Those workers that had just arrived as well. That's fine. We'll get them working on this. We're out of wood. That's okay. It's only temporary. Um, sorry, 25 wood. I might assign another one of these to be constructed. Well, there's no rush. If we can't get them done, we can't get them done, right? Research is going by pretty quickly. Three hours left for this. We can research quite a bit in a day now. Oh, I'm feeling so much better. Except for the hunger. I imagine they're going to eat at night. Motivation is great. It's good. Discontent continues to rise because hunger continues to rise, but that won't last very long. No one is ill, so we still don't need any workers there. Now, we have eight idle workers. I was hoping we could get this built, but the days... Well, I mean, we're going to get it built either way. I was hoping we could get it built and get some work out of it. Shifts over stow your tools. We'll go ahead and max this so that tomorrow morning uh, engineers are idle. Or we can assign you over here. Just max that out so tomorrow morning, again, people can have their breakfast and, and whatnot. Uh, or we can rather process the raw food into, into cooked food. 
And uh, now we should finish this construction. Yeah, you can see the people coming down over here. We'll work on the construction overnight. And so this will bring us... Sorry. This will bring us wood. This will bring us steel. And we've got our sawmills with, what, another two days? Two to three days of wood. Right? Yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. And what else did I want to build? And I could build another profiles manufacturer, but I don't know if I have... Well, you know what I could do? Let's take a look at this. So we need 8 plus 10, so 18. 50. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll need more. That's 18. 68. So we need 68 structural profiles, and then we can destroy some of the, the manufacturers and replace them with steam exchange, the ones that build steam exchangers. So, uh, very well. Let's go ahead and build, I think. It would be in our best interest to build another profiles manufacturer over here. Get that done overnight. And let's go ahead and get, um... It'll take a day for the shipment to arrive, so we're not going to do that. We're going to wait until, uh... We're going to wait until tomorrow morning at the start of the workday to get another shipment of people. And I think it'll just be workers, because workers can work at the uh, Profiles Manufacture. And that way, we should be able to max out our uh, two Profiles Manufacturers in the next couple days. Yeah. Let's go ahead and assign wood over here. We'll max that out when people arrive. Okay, good stuff. Feeling like we've got a bit of a rhythm going, but that's usually when uh, when life comes at you, right? We build a bathhouse. I feel like we can wait. All right, let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. I wonder if again we can leave the camp whenever we want to. Eighty raw food, right? Let's see. We we just got another eighty. We have 80 left over already. I want to see how this transfers over. Because if the foragers can be sent elsewhere... Oh, that starvation was a little worrying. If the foragers can be sent elsewhere to get more done or better things done, then I'll, I'll be more than happy to do that. I'll be more than happy to do that. I need 20 workers up there. Okay. Alright, well... Once we're done over here... Mark that down to none because we're closed. Over here, let's go ahead and get 10 in. And the rest are engineers, unfortunately. Can we get engineers working any other jobs? No way. That's fine, that's fine. So this will be at half efficiency for the next little bit. Not the end of the world. We could reduce the rate at which we're collecting steel. Nah, we're actually using it a fair bit. The hungry were fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the time being. Motivation rises. Up to give us that 30% boost. Beautiful. Cool, cool. We can stay on top of this. We can stay on top of this as long as the wood keeps flowing. As long as the wood keeps flowing. wonder if we don't want to... take some of the workers away from here. Make them engineers, because we've got engineers who are just dawdling, right? And assign them over here. Because I want to make sure the boats are actually arriving. I'm sure it'll be slower because we have fewer people. But yeah, the next uh, shipment we order, which let's go ahead and order it at around 5. And that way they'll be here for free time as well. One is sick. Zero efficiency, that's not good. Got enough food. Okay, now we're now we're getting into the world of managing resources. Alright, hopefully he'll be fine. Oh, it's an engineer who's ill, and he's the one who's assigned to being a doctor. Alright. You know what? I'm gonna wait until eight so they don't have the free time in the morning. They arrive and they work right away. We got another law going as well. These are all based on options, and I'm not ready to make choices yet. Not ready to make choices yet. We don't want bare knuckle bouts. I don't need people getting injured pointlessly. People are relatively motivated. Discontent is very low. One unpopular decision. I don't know which one that was, but 
things are going okay. Let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. This doesn't need to be so slow. Alone in this world. Everything is fine in treatment. Hopefully that'll be done soon. All right. And over here, convert all the food over, and then we can... Again, when all the food's done converting, we can just get everyone to leave, right? 20% 20 20 efficiency here. What's the deal? Work safety. Safety concerns. Sir, a few of our people fell ill from breathing strange fumes wafting from the shaft. It could have been worse. One of them passed out and fell from a scaffold. We can't ignore health hazards any longer. From now on, the safety level of every workplace at the construction site will be monitored. If it's low, people working there will get sick. If it's very low, they might get injured or die. Oh, man. <laughs> of course. Look at this guy. He's dying. Um, two days to pass a law improving safety. Or we have to make do. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'll improve safety. I have two days to pass a law improving safety. Sure, I can pass a law. I will improve safety. Oh, labor laws. Oh, interesting. Short shift. Not a chance. Not a chance. Um, oh, but it will raise workplace safety. All right, so new shift length. You can shorten the workday in generator construction facility to eight hours. That sounds risky. Dispensary. Newest experimental medicine to treat the gravely ill. Okay, that doesn't help our uh, work area. Extended shifts or two shifts. You can extend the workday in any facility to 14 hours, will cause discontent, or two shifts, I can permanently extend the workday in any facility to 24 hours. I need double manpower, but it causes discontent. Okay. Safety procedures. Uh, this will allow people to, it'll make work slower, but safer. Okay, using safety procedures raises, raises workplace safety by one. Motivation will rise slightly, but also lowers efficiency by 25%. That's a pretty big hit. That's a pretty big hit. Now, short shift. We could try this. I mean, this is only positives. This is only positives, except for the reduced uh, work day. So from, what, 10 hours to 8 hours, right? Well, what's 2 hours? Let's go ahead and sign this. Short shift. Building a generator is exhausting and dangerous. When people are not overworked, they will make less mistakes. I wholeheartedly agree. Perhaps the... Uh, Reprieve from constant work will be good. First safety law signed. New regulations. I just, I love when the voice yells out new regulations. Uh, you introduced your first safety law as promised. Motivation rises. Good. That's a huge rise. That's great. What's this now? Uh, a few people fell ill from breathing. I thought I already said I will improve safety. And we signed this. Oh, no. Okay, good. I fear these worker-friendly changes will cost us dearly. Oh, relax. Ah, oh, people are falling sick. This isn't good. We need more engineers, eh? All right, so our engineers... Well, hold on. Got distracted, and I missed out on getting the shipment right away. So let's go ahead and get... 20 of you. 10 will work this. 8 will work this. And then two more at the uh, the uh, medical camp, right? So ten plus eight is eighteen. I need three more here, so I guess yeah, it'll be twenty um, workers that we're getting. No wait, it needs to be engineers here. So okay, so twenty will give us ten there, eight here, so that's eighteen, right? And then I could get one more engineer to work at the uh, medical camp. Sure. Order that shipment. It'll take a day, as predicted. Uh, but food is fine, so let's go ahead and reduce these engineers and get them all working over here so people will be taken care of. And this one worker can keep working away, I suppose. Actually, we're probably better off sending that worker here. We've got plenty of food. It'll last us about a day. So we'll, we'll run that cycle. We'll keep that cycle going. Um, and over here, let's go ahead and add one. All right, got to wait. 25 wood per, right? Efficiency has risen as well, so that's good. We are two days ahead of schedule still. Fishing Harbor researched. Excellent. So that should allow us to research something else now. Protective structures. So that's what... It improves workplace safety by one for 24 hours, but it costs six structural profiles. Man. 
Reloading station does what? People working here gather resources piling up at the docks and transfer them to the stockpiles. This was recommended as the fastest option, right? Sawmill upgrade. Uh, workplace improvements that will raise the efficiency of all sawmills and steam sawmills by 25%. This will allow us to store more. See, the reason why I'm hesitant about the sawmill upgrade is because we are eventually going to run out of the need of sawmills. This I like, though. Heal people faster. I like that. And we'll need the machine shop, but we don't need the machine shop until the next stage, right? So let's go ahead and do the medical post upgrades. Forger carts gives us faster foragers. Oof. All right, fine. I, I, I take it back. Forager carts first, and then we'll do our medical upgrades, and then we'll go ahead with our machine shops that we need. We need some more wood here ASAP. Come on now. It's so slow. It's all so very slow. You're almost done. It, 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 we're fine. We're fine. It's not the end of the world. Doing okay. Go ahead and add one over here. And I'm giving it to this one first because this is working at 111% efficiency. Only 26% due to high motivation. Shouldn't it be 30% or whatever it said? Oh well. Oh well. We've got our fishing harbor. 40 wood, 10 steel. It can wait a little while. When our foragers start going around to get more, um, uh, to, to find a new hunting ground or whatever it might be, that's when we'll get our, uh, that's when we'll get our, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fishing docks down. What's the problem here? Storage limit reached. Well, why aren't we picking this up? We've got 15 workers. We're just not working fast enough. We've got faster gathering as well. Kind of wasteful over here. Well, okay. Well, then let's go ahead and reduce your efficiency and pump it up over here. Right? Good stuff. Cool. We just got to wait for the uh, new workers to arrive, and then we can start picking up wood from here as well. Oh, crap. Got to stay on top of this. Can't just stack them. I like that you can't just stack them. It's about keeping an eye on your resources and pushing the upgrades. Oh, this is a problem. This keeps... <laughs> stuff keeps coming up. Letters from home, releasing tensions. Followed by the boudoir letter. This is a funny title. Sir, two of our people got into a fist fight. Apparently over the loot... Oh, wow, it is exactly what I thought it was. <laughs> Apparently over the loot picture that came by mail earlier. Nothing too serious, although one of them got a sprained wrist. The original recipient of the picture is clamoring to get it back, while the other man insists that he won it fair and square in a game of whist. As it is difficult to tell where the truth lies, people seem to expect you to settle it. Punish them both, confiscate the picture, don't get involved. Uh, no, I'm going to get involved. I, uh, I'm going to punish them both. <laughs> Sharing is caring, folks. <laughs> you can both share the picture. No, um, I'm not going to confiscate it. But I will punish them both, yes. Oh, I tried to do a good thing, and this is how they repay me. It's okay, we'll, we'll, we'll reduce their discontent quickly enough. Max out on workers over here. Patients will hopefully be... Okay, they'll be, they'll be up and running tomorrow, so we'll be fine. Food is looking okay. We've got less than a day's worth of food. Order carts researched. Excellent. Uh, how do I want to do this? We're researching very quickly now. We're researching very, very quickly. Medical post upgrade. We need 20 wood for that. It'll happen any second now. And... There it is. Get that going. I feel like we'll need some more sawmills soon. 100... Well, we'll wait until the end of this workday and we'll see what the situation is. But I feel like either today, tonight or tomorrow night, we'll have to build some more sawmills. And we can build one out over here to take all this wood. And we'll build one out over here as well to take all this wood over here. Uh, and that'll be, uh, I think that'll be quite good for us. Cool. That'll be quite good for us. And I just have to remember when night falls, when the work shift's done, I have to move people to the pub to make sure motivation stays up. Alright, yeah, we're, we're fine here. We have plenty of steel. 
All right, now that we're getting into thick of thing, the thick of things, I'm, I'm enjoying this tremendously. I am enjoying this tremendously. Uh, let's go ahead and speed time up a little bit. I think we can risk that. No, hold on. Come on, party. Gotta stay on top of this. Ah, we probably could have finished more. Oh, wait, we finished eight. Well, it's fine, though. So we finished eight, however, we need, if we check the generator construction overview, uh, we're three days ahead of schedule. That's great. So the next stage, we need 10. And the stage after that, we need 50. So we can keep making these structural profiles for days and we'll be fine. Optional upgrades, eh? Anyway, we'll, we'll look at that later. Uh, we'll look at that later. Let's go ahead and close this. Keep it paused for a second. Um, so tomorrow morning, shortly after the start of the workday, people are going to arrive down over here. We can drop this to none and drop this to max. Cool. And what's the deal over here? So 87. And we get how much per hour? Oh, I should have checked. We get 10 per hour, right? So we still have about one workday's worth of wood available for these sawmills. So we'll let tomorrow pass, and then tomorrow night, yes, we'll build uh, more sawmills. That'll be good. That'll be good. Hang on, then. What's going on here? Is this wood actually going to get unloaded? Or is this just an animation, just a visual cue to show us that things are working? Why is efficiency down over here? We've got 10 workers... Is it because I keep shifting? Oh, oh, people haven't arrived yet. Of course, they have to actually arrive at their uh, their place of business, their place of work. Fair enough. Food rations are dropping. Well, tomorrow morning we'll have to get uh, some people working over here. We'll have to resplit this. Like I can do none over here, max this out. All right, keep people working on collecting steel and get some people working on collecting wood. We are getting, again, people arriving tomorrow morning, so that'll be helpful. We should probably get another shipment, like, right afterwards as well. Uh, new administrative laws? We're fine for administrative laws. I mean, I could do crowded quarters. Discontent will rise permanently. Motivation will fall slightly. But as we get more people coming, I feel like this is a necessity. Let's see. Slow it down a second. We'll be fine. Lack of medical care. Talk about lack of medical care. We're maxed out on medical care. We're researching more as well. Relax. It was need to relax. All right. On the topic of relaxing, crowded quarters it shall be. We could house more people if we cut the space allowance a bit. Although nobody is going to be happy about it. I'll take 18 hours afterwards. Each will fit 12 people, so that'll increase our population cap significantly based on the space we have. Disc again, a little bit of a problem here with discontent and motivation, but it is what it is, folks. Ooh. That was kind of rough. Bloody hell, what's next? Upright sleeping? You know, that's not a bad idea. Boss wants to cram even more people in. He's crazy. Maybe a little bit. I'm trying to save the world here. I'm trying to save the world here, okay? You can't do that without, you know, having some people sleep like a sandwich. Stack three people, one on top of the other. Fine. Um, go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. Wait until tomorrow morning. More food, raw food specifically, has arrived. But tomorrow morning, we will convert that into proper food. All right. We'll wait until it's going to be six. This uh, people management thing is uh, fun. I, 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 I like this. <laughs> I like this. Our folks will arrive in about three hours' time. Let's go ahead and speed things up. Again, I was a little delayed because of the distra early morning distractions from yesterday. Are people falling ill? Base safety level. Let's slow it down over here. Oh, I see. I see. So I could do this and help deal with sicknesses. There we go. Okay. Work is safe here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. I missed that. It's fine, though. It's fine. So over here, no workers. Over here, let's go ahead and get five. Over here, get two more. Three workers aren't working. Get um, three workers over here. 45 minutes before more people arrive. 
So again, now we should be able to make enough food to last us another day. Keep this cycle going. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Motivation is still up. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Ooh, transport has arrived. Excellent. More workers. No one's going to be homeless, though. All right, so go ahead and max this out. Sorry, I forgot to add. Come on now. Come on now. There it is. <laughs> um, so that, we've got nine left over. Uh, these nine could work down over here, right? Medical post research done. I could work on the machine shop and get to work on that right away. The ventilation plant does what? Improves work safety across the construction site, consuming 25 coal per hour. Need to get coal for that. Are we able to get coal? Or do we need the charcoal kiln for that? Might be a good idea. Might be a good idea to get the drafting machines. There's some good upgrades down over here. Yeah, okay. Let's let's go with the drafting machines, shall we? I feel like the charcoal kiln is how we get our um uh, how we get our uh, coal. Not enough wood for this. 75 wood. Oof. Alright, well, if I don't want to wait. If I don't want to wait. I could get the machine shop. Honey wood. Sure. That's what we'll do then. Four workers. Be working over here. What is this? An engineer? Yeah, we have an engineer who's idle. What a waste. Okay, machine shop. Let's get you started. Um, engineer, engineer. Where can we send you? Sure, work the pub. Why not? Why not? All right. A couple sick, a sick absences over here. We'll be fine, though. But we do need... Yes, we'll need the sawmills. Oof. We should have got the sawmills done sooner, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and build. I think here is not a bad idea to do the next sawmill over here. If I actually take a look at our construction, resources, sawmill down, I have to destroy something, won't I? Guess I could put you down over here. Sure. Put you down over here. Gives us some good coverage. We'll be able to dismantle this one soon. Got to make sure I get the road extended as well. There. So maybe partway through the day, we'll be able to move, shift workers over. Actually surprised workers were immediately assigned. I thought, uh... Anyway, it is what it is. Let that, let that happen. I got to build a bathhouse in 18 hours. Okay, got to do that soon. Go to the workers over here. Got five. We can assign some of them over here. And again, because our food is okay, we got two days worth of food. Go ahead and get these going. Oh right, set up the shaft structure. Right. So how do we do that? Do I just click on this? Generator construction. No, that's clearly not it. We're still paused. Uh, where's our generator? Oh, there we go. Shaft structure. The structure will support the massive bulk of the generator and transfer the tremendous forces produced by its operation to the foundations. Eight structural profiles. Got them. Got to drop them down over here. Cool. 50. Oh. This is part of the work day. All right. Wow, this is like negative three base safety level. Okay. So shorter shifts for sure. Go ahead and remove the workers over here and assign them over here instead. Um, I'm tempted. Oh, we need steel. I'm tempted. It's got to be workers as well, right? Engineers won't do that work, unfortunately. Too uh, hoity-toity for that, I suppose. Um, no, okay, we'll leave it. We'll leave it be. I'm glad motivation is still up. There's that. Keep wood coming. 
I might need to get another shipment of people coming through. Let's see, what have we got over here? You're topped up. We've got some room over here. Or eight. We've got room for 12 more people without needing to build more houses. Okay. So. 12 more people. The limit rises over time. Okay. Limit rises over time. We'll stick with 12 people because then we don't need to make anything else. I mean, I, sure, let's do 13. We'll have a homeless person though. What's the point? We'll stick with 12 people. I know it seems inefficient, but I don't want to waste any wood or anything on building tents right now. Um, get time going. I wish I'd ordered that shipment earlier in the day, but it is what it is. So this is empty. We've got five structural profiles. You know, we could actually... Um, once we finish this, I think I'm going to assign them over here as well. Well, what's the deal here? House of Pleasure. Oh, no. House of Disease. A worried medic reports an outbreak of vene... I've never known how to say this properly. Venereal disease at the House of Pleasure. At least one of the employees got the clap and is spreading it. We must start mandatory medical examinations of the staff and send the infected home, or at least isolate them. We can't afford it. No, no, no. Cure the infect. Deport the infected. Requires medical rep repatriation. No, no, no. Cure the infected. Infected prostitutes will be treated as gravely ill. Discontent will rise. Mm. No, 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 no. I, I, think, I think we need to cure the infected. That's the right thing to do. Cure the infected. Now, the gravely ill. Do we have anything to cure the gravely ill is the question. Take a look at food and health. I think we need the infirmary. Well, again, after the machine shop is done, which should be soon, we'll work towards the infirmary. Um, none here. Max us out. One day, eight hours. So we'll still be ahead of schedule when we're done it. One day, eight hours. Do we need this much wood being collected? No. There we go. One worker left. Sure, we can assign you down here. That's just an engineer. Well, we know who has the clap, I guess, if it's just the one worker assigned. Um, and that's when they discover it. Not actually. I don't think that's how the game actually considers it. Steel, we're fine over here. How much steel do we have? 278. Plenty of steel left. Plenty of steel left. We are almost out. Within the hour, we will be. And over here, yes, within the hour, we will be as well. So, none for you. Shift them all over here. We'll need a replacement for you as well. Let's go ahead and dismantle you. Okay, five people to dismantle that. And we'll build another one, like, over here. I should have built this earlier. We'll build this later. Let's go ahead and get our sawmill. Um, what am I looking for? Resources. Sawmill, we can plant you down over here, or... Put you down... Over here. So we won't destroy any resources. Seems like a decent enough fit. Yeah, we could do that. Um, or we could put it down over here. Literally right next door. And then uh, take care of all these trees. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out which spot I want to do exactly. Which spot will last longer, I suppose, is how I should phrase that. I feel like this spot's better. Or I could do this. Let's see. Yeah, I could do this. It's temporary, right? Yeah, it's temporary. So let's go ahead and drop it down over here. Don't have to build any street or anything for it. And uh, time can go on. Oh, wait. No, sorry. We need to do some research. Get the drafting machines going. 75 wood. Almost. We're almost there. Should get there within the next hour. We can start the research today and finish it off tomorrow. We'll be fine. Come on now. Come on, and our next food shipment will arrive as well, but we don't have to actually process it. We've got enough food rations for a little while at least. So that's good. Oh no. I have to build a bathhouse tonight. I have to build a bathhouse tonight. Destroy some resources over there, unfortunately. Ah, uh, what about over here? Not adjacent to street. That's not the end of the world. I think it'll service more people over here, though. Wish I knew what some of the constructions were actually like before I uh, made so much 
planning. But hey, that's that's part of the learning process. Sure, let's go ahead and put the uh, bathhouse down over here. We will lose some trees. <sighs> Much as I hate to do that, it isn't the end of the world. Go ahead and pop you down over there, and let's go ahead and get the street extended up this way. All right. Cool. Not going to have enough wood to start the research tonight, but it's not the end of the world. We'll start it uh, first thing tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow morning. When more people will be arriving as well again. 19 hours. Take a breather. Some of you. Not all of you. Go ahead and get you guys up over here. Working away at the house of pleasure. People are hungry. Well, there's plenty of food to eat, and there's some people who are sick. No one is gravely sick just yet. So I guess we don't actually have to rush the infirmary. Alright, how's construction going? Over here, you are not able to gather, so let's dismantle you. I believe dismantling should happen during regular uh, work hours as well. Cancel this. Inoperative. No resources, yes. Just wanted to double check. So yeah, let's go ahead and take these buildings down, re recollect all the wood, and uh, yeah, move on from there. Oof. All right, we are we are ahead of schedule, so that's that's good. At least I'm comfortable about that. Facility is closed. Well, it's because it's being built right now. Discontent is a little high. Crowded quarters. People don't like that, but the public house is helping. Unpo I've made a couple of unpopular decisions recently, haven't I? It's okay. We're, 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 we're trying to save the world. Everyone's not just going to be your friend when you're trying to save the world. Right? You're going to have to... You can't save the world without making at least a few enemies. Wood's looking good. Food's looking good. Bathhouse has been established. Now people can take care of their hygiene needs. Excellent. But what do we need in terms of workers here? We don't. Wonderful. I was worried that we'd need to... You know, siphon more workers... The curative and preventative effect of bathing were known for millennia, long before the germ theory of disease postulated the link between hygiene and health. To provide our people with access to hot baths in this harsh climate, we need plenty of coal, but the effects are undeniable. Ooh. Requires coal. I did not notice that. Fair enough. We needed to finish our mission, but, uh, right, coal. So I know there's some coal mining to be done up over here, like there are these coal mines. Oh, we can actually... Oh, it's piles. Piles. We can just send people to work these piles. I see. I thought it was a mining spot. Fair enough. Not the end of the world. So we need to send some people up there. Um, we need to... Do what else? Got this working fine. Motivation's super high, so that's great. We need to do some research. I need to figure out what to research tomorrow. And what was that? That was an... Oh, I'm able to pass a law again. I don't think there's any laws that we need to pass right now. Uh, if we take a look at labor... Oh, work standardization. Short shifts will cause a little discontent. Workplaces will be 10% more efficient during short shifts. Discontent will rise slightly. I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but discontent is currently kind of high. I call this high. That's probably like the lowest it'll ever get in the near future. Probably. Feeling pretty good, though. I feel like things have gone a lot smoother today. Uh, let's go ahead and assign workers over here. I want to make sure that there's no downtime in the morning. We still have one worker who needs an assignment. Guess I could assign you over here. Or perhaps when the next shipment arrives, we'll get some people working at the docks and some people working at the uh, the coal pile. Then we can get the coal coming through. But this has been, uh, I think this has been a pretty good session. We've made a lot of progress. Uh, we're actually seeing the shaft structure being built, so that's good to see that, uh, you know, we didn't fall too far behind that. The moment I saw the word deadline pop up, I was like, hold on a second. By day 16 at 3 p.m., we need to be at... We need... Hold on a second. By day 16 at 3 p.m., we need to have the shaft structure done. Oh, okay. And by, by day 25, we need the pressure valve, we need the machine shop. We can stay ahead of schedule, I think. We can stay ahead of schedule. So what else we got? We, we gotta get some more structural profiles, but we have some left over, right? We have six left over. Cool. So the next stage, we just need to get those steam exchangers going. So maybe we build a machine shop in the next couple of days to get that happening. But uh, I'm feeling all right. I'm feeling all right. I don't know if I should be. 
I don't know if I should be, but y'all need to let me know what you think. As always, folks, we're going to call it a session over here. We've hit that hour mark. I usually like to keep these an hour long. We're a little bit over, but it is midnight on day 11 when we're calling it quits uh, for today, of course. Next session will be out tomorrow at the same time, and then we'll reconsider our schedule. As always, if you're interested in seeing more of the game, the best way to make sure that happens on this channel is by leaving a like and a comment down below. Let me know as well how often you'd like to see it uploaded. I could maybe keep up daily episodes, but it might be better to do one every other day so you're able to keep up and, you know, there's nothing, nothing to, it's, it's easy to, st to stay kept up. Uh, nonetheless, folks, like I said, this is what we're calling it. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know. Massive thanks, as always, goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly, much like our operation here. And, of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.